Okay. I wanted to tell you a secret of where future technology is going. And uh, this is what mankind will discover next. Right now we have AC generators. They have all sorts of moving parts and they have uh, commutators, stators, stuff that breaks down, stuff that creates friction. Let me tell you what the... Now, we can thank and build big statues to Nikola Tesla, not Einstein, who was a moron who invented nothing. Build big old statues to Nikola Tesla for creating the AC generator, which gives power to the entire world, right? Okay. Now, let's get to uh, the invention, the discovery that mankind will make, that I already know exists and that, uh, that does work. And that is a coil drive or you could call it a ball drive. Now let's first explain what an AC generator is. Now first we have to take a magnet. We have to take a uh, coherent field and then uh, we have to have it amassed into a phenomena that we know as a magnet and the only thing that defines a magnet is field coherency and that field coherency with a plane of inertia and the quote-unquote polarity which is literally the inverse of counter space which is force in motion because mother nature doesn't draw a line like this she draws a line like this or like this that magnet the force in motion divergence that defines polarity and the Lamour frequency of geromagnetic precession and this is actually a known fact because we couldn't make uh, magnetic resonance imaging machines work without the knowledge of a geromagnetic precession it's called the Lamour frequency okay what is an AC generator in very simplex? It is literally a magnet turned inside out. They have the plane of inertia along the middle of a magnet which can never be cut out. As I've told you before, and this is an undeniable fact of course, you can cut a magnet a million times and you'll end up with a million smaller magnets, each with its own plane of inertia or what's called the block wall. It's the dielectric plane of inertia as I've referred to it in my book and each with its own quote unquote North Pole and South Pole. It is incommensurable. It is point nonspecific field pressure mediation. What is an AC generator? It is literally a magnet turned inside out. What the hell does that mean? Then we're going to talk about the, genera the technology that's going to change the future. And it's going to be a motor system that has absolutely no moving parts. It will have a moving feel, but it will have no moving parts to break down. Okay, I'm dead serious about this. Serious is, a heart, serious is a heart attack. The only thing an AC generator is is taking the plane of inertia in the form of a coil and placed it on the external. And we have the moving magnetism, which should be the force in motion at the plane of inertia to the system itself, whether that's driven by power, um, from wind or hydro, uh, hydroelectric creation. We actually have a moving magnet against a plane of inertia. We actually have the plane of inertia exterior to the actual force in motion. Literally, yes, an AC generator is a magnet turned inside out. A magnet natively is force in motion on the outside, i.e. magnetic polarity, and the plane of inertia on the inside. An AC generator is the inverse of that. It's the plane of inertia on the outside in the form of a coil with the magnetism, the force in motion on the inside, which is turned, you know, horses, wind, you know, nuclear, steam, doesn't matter what it is. That's how an AC generator works. It has a lot of moving parts, not that many moving parts. And there are a lot of AC generators now have been running phew, oh, nearly a hundred years, so they still require maintenance, and they have frictions and bearings, and they have efficiencies. Everything has efficiency. I'm going to talk about a freelance here. This is a technology that's going to change the future forever. So far as uh, you're going to talk about once this uh, AC generator is created, it'll have no moving parts, and uh, it's never going to break down. If it, it could be sealed in uh, cement or some sort of uh, epoxy resin that I've actually thought of, and uh, other than the uh, the output of the leads. It will have absolutely no moving parts. There's nothing to break. I mean, anything could be destroyed if you smash it with a hammer, of course. We're not talking about that. But it will literally be a, uh, a generator to work forever. And it could be scaled up or scaled down to various sizes. And this is the AC power generator that's going to change the world. The way it works is off using geromagnetic precession along a rodent coil. I don't know if you know what the hell a rodent coil looks like. It basically kind of looks like this. 
Here's an image of a rodent coil. Either a staged rodent coil, which will look like a ball, or a rodent coil itself that's so compact and so thick that the efficiency is high. And so what we would have is basically a type of AC generator system, and I call this a coil drive, that will work exactly the same way a magnet does, except instead of actually moving the magnet inter internal to the plane of inertia, i.e. the copper windings of an AC generator in our current technology, what we will have is harnessing the geromagnetic precession out of phase to the rodent coil to create power. This necessitatively would and does create power. There's just no denying it. It's not like, well, this is a fanciful invention. This is like a, uh, a theoretical uh, AC generator. It's not theoretical at all. It works the exact same way. The only difference is, instead of actually turning a magnet relative to the coil, you're actually phasing, and I don't want to get into specifics, phasing the geomagnetic precession relative to the stationary rodent coil and that, with its external leads, is an AC generator with zero parts. So when you have a generator that has zero parts, then you're talking about building something, encasing it in silicon, and then, you know, sticking it in a device. Obviously, it has to be fed. I'm not talking about a free energy device here. I'm talking about something that creates geomagnetic precession. I don't want to get into the details of that, but geomagnetic precession is known as a Lamour frequency. This is nothing fanciful. This is no new discovery. Every MRI machine made by General Electric in every hospital works off of geomagnetic precession. Okay, you know what precession is, right? It's called the Lamour frequency. What you do is you use the Lamour frequency native to all coherent magnetic fields. Okay? You place the rodent coil at the center of geomagnetic precession whereby which geomagnetic precession is and does have a current induced whereby which we have AC generator systems which can be scaled to you know extremely minuscule sizes to incredibly large sizes that will have zero moving parts zero bearings uh, they will literally can be walled up inside of a brick wall never to be seen again because there's nothing for them literally to break down. You want to talk about the breakdown of copper and it, and it oxidizing? Yeah, you would encase the entire thing in some sort of plastic composite. Because it would never, it would, well, it would actually generate uh, some heat relative to the geomagnetic precession, but you're not really concerned about like a couple hundred degrees of heat uh, under high current creation and copper, you know, copper has a relatively, you know, couple, two, three hundred degrees Fahrenheit. You know, all heat, of course, is a loss of energy, but necessitatively the geomagnetic precession would create that in the rodent coil. But anyway, that's actually the future of power generation. It is not different than we have, and I'm not talking about uh, free energy here. I'm certainly talking about A, much higher efficiency, and B, AC generation that has zero moving parts with zero parts breakdown. So once you create it and you encase it in some sort of weather resistant barrier, then this is something that will be, you know, a life saving dream to take on boats, on high. I mean, you know, it, it's something that doesn't require maintenance. The ramifications of that are absolutely mind boggling. And once humanity discovers, how to create a coil drive instead of a current AC generator. And I know how to create a coil drive. <laughs> you don't believe me? I don't care. There is a certain happiness that occurs when you know something and you could have all the entire world tell you you're full of nonsense. When you know something works and you know something does exist, it doesn't matter what anybody says because there is a certain satisfaction in knowing and wisdom that all the hate and all the derision in the world will never quench. And so that's where we stand with that. So I wanted to let you in on that, and uh, I've called it a coil drive. And uh, its advantages, as I've stated, no moving parts, uh, incredibly high efficiency, extremely simplex design with uh, basically per durable 
um, lifespan. You know, if, if you took a hammer to it, or you ran a bulldozer over it, of course you'd destroy it. Obviously so. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about something that has no friction, no bearings. There's no brushes to wear down. Uh, there's no maintenance. There's no upkeep. You build it, you set it in place, and that's it. And that is amazing. That means that you could actually have this literally exposed to the elements and have squirrels crapping on it. Like if you had a little miniature waterfall generator, you could take one of these little coil drives, completely set it out in the elements, and as long as a raccoon didn't drag it away with his teeth, you know, it, if, if it had 10 foot of snow on it and uh, water pouring on it, it still wouldn't make any difference as far as it generating power. Of course, you know, you're obviously going to have a short, so you need to actually protect, protect the leads of the current that's created. I'm not talking about that, but that is, that's amazing. So that's the future of power generation. And um, what humanity calls it, I have no idea. I've actually called it a coil drive, and it is reality's future. So that is the future of power generation. Whether you believe me or not, I certainly don't care. But I can guarantee you this much, that is exactly what it is. And it's really no different than an AC generator, except it uses geomagnetic precession to actually drive the induction of current. The Lamore frequency and geomagnetic precession, these are not inventions off the top of my head. This is how nature works. No MRI machine in any hospital on Earth could work without the Lamore frequency. The only thing humanity hasn't figured out yet is by using the Lamore frequency in a phased relation to a rodent coil or a ball coil, you can have a zero part, zero friction, zero wear down power generation system. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. Bye.